Hello everyone, welcome. If you're preparing for the UK MLA AKT, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to introduce you to a powerful tool that can help you ace your exam, our ultimate UK MLA AKT question bank. This platform is designed to provide you with a comprehensive set of questions that follows the MLA content map by General Medical Council of the UK, helping you to prepare effectively and efficiently. So, let's dive in and explore all the features that this question bank has to offer. When you land on the sign-up page, you can open an account with your email or your social accounts like Google and Facebook. You can fill out the form with the necessary information and a strong password. If you are signing up via email, a verification link will be sent to your email. You will need to click on this link in order to activate your account. Once your account is activated, you can log into your account with your email and password. You will be welcomed with a dashboard that shows the different subscription plans we offer. Please read through the perks carefully before making a decision. You can test run the question bank with an unlimited time demo, which is accessible from the menu. This demo question bank is exactly similar to the main one, with the same functionalities. You can sort the categories alphabetically or from the most incorrectly answered in a category to the least. The options at the bottom are for choosing your study modes, which run on intelligent filtering of the existing questions. Random mode is self-explanatory. Flagged mode only loads your flagged questions. New mode will only load unattempted questions, and incorrect mode will only load questions answered incorrectly before. Let's start with the random mode. Here is the beginning of something amazing. You will probably see this page thousands of times, so let's orient ourselves to what's what. At the top left is the main menu. Right next to it is the question counter for this study session, then the option to end and review the session when you want. Next to it is the question drawer, which enables you to jump from one question to another. You can flag a question by clicking the very obvious flag, and also unflag them by clicking the dark flag. The beaker icon gives you quick access to different lab reference values. And the chat icon next to that gives you the opportunity to report a question to us. We highly encourage you to make the report as detailed as possible in order to help us identify the issue and resolve it quickly. Among the options, select the one you think is correct and tap Submit. It will instantly show you the correct answer with an explanation as to why it is correct, along with explanations as to why the other options are not correct. At the end of the explanation, you have an option to save this question as a flashcard, which we call a revision key. We will explore that functionality later in the video. As you go through the questions one after another, you can always end the study session and check the results of that session. Then, you can go through the answered questions again from the question drawer at the top right to review them. You can exit from here by going back to the categories page. Here is something interesting. You might be asking why some category backgrounds have turned red. This is a little game we have created for you. Once you attempt any question from a category, you have entered the game. The more questions you answer correctly in that category, the red will gradually start turning green. It gives you a visual counter of how many questions you may have left to attempt and a drive to turn the world as green as possible. Now let's talk about our very own flashcard system, Revision Keys. All those explanations you click to save while doing the questions will be found here. When you click Revise, you will see the question stem without any options. You really have to understand the topic behind the question and answer it in your brain which you can check by tapping Reveal Answer. You can also delete a specific flashcard with the button in the top right corner. Your preparation only gets better when you can test yourself by simulating the real exam scenario. This is where our mock tests come into play. We have two types of mock tests. Firstly, we have the master mocks for UKMLA. They are created with questions which are meticulously crafted and, importantly, not available in the main question database that you can practice on over and over. We plan to release them right before the exam dates. 
Secondly, on our diamond plan, you can have access to an unlimited number of mocks from the questions that you have practiced on. This is something we highly suggest doing after you have completed the question bank at least once. By now, we hope you are convinced enough to dive into the real deal and buy a subscription to gain full access to all the categories. Going back to the dashboard, choose the plan and click Get Started. On the payment page, insert your payment details and remember to use the same email as your account to reduce any confusion. Once the payment goes through, you'll be redirected to your new menu where you can access the question bank straight away, and all the categories will be opened for you to start digging in. You can always upgrade your subscription plan in order to gain access to higher perks. You can do so by going into the billing portal from your account, located at the bottom left of the menu. You can update your plan there, and in the question bank, you'll automatically get upgraded to the higher plan when the payment is completed. Now let's see how this mock test actually works. Once you have bought the Diamond subscription plan, you will be able to access unlimited mock exams. Once you click start, the exam begins and you continue to submit answers after you select them. Remember to tap submit after you select an option. Unlike your practice modes, you will not see the answers instantly. You will either have to answer all 180 questions, or the timer runs out, or you click the end and review button. You can also review these question answers using the question drawer and save these explanations as a revision key, just like the other practice modes. If your subscription plan has the option to reset the question bank, you will see that obvious button in the top right corner on the categories page. By resetting it, you remove all the data related to your previous attempts at questions in the bank. This basically clears up the red-green backgrounds and gives you a clean question bank as if you just started again. The best thing is, the number of times you can reset the question bank is, as many times as you want. Thank you for joining us in this comprehensive walkthrough of our UKMLA AKT question bank website. We've designed this platform with your success in mind, providing a vast array of questions that closely mirror the MLA content map. We hope you found this tour informative and helpful, and that it's given you a clear understanding of how our question bank can be a game changer in your exam preparation. Remember, practice is the key to success in any exam, and with our question bank, you have an extensive resource right at your fingertips. So, why wait? Start your journey with us today, and let's turn your exam preparation into a success story. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates, resources, and tips to help you along the way. Until next time, we wish you happy studying and the very best of luck with your preparation. We're here to support you every step of the way.